It is perfect. Welcoming back Tara Sloan to the desk here, a uh, member of the Rogers hometown hockey team and former member of ours, but always you hold a place at the table, obviously, Tara. Um, hometown hockey, for people who didn't catch it last time it was in town, it's in Cochrane this weekend. And what can families expect? Well, I always like to describe hometown hockey as part broadcast and part circus. We travel <laughs> with a convoy of trucks. We set up a bunch of family-friendly activities. Our footprint is huge. You know, we take up a number of city blocks. Uh, we have a stage set up with music and contests. We have a bunch of alumni signings, a bunch of interactive sort of displays. There's a ball hockey rink. A lot to do. We have a great um, a guy named Paz, who is a circus acrobat performer who has a, a hockey really? circus show. Um, he juggles. Uh, hockey sticks that are on fire. I mean, it's <laughs> hilarious. You can see, you get a, a, a sense of the scope. And then, of course, you know, it's also surrounding a, a television show. So we do a live broadcast on Sunday evenings generally. This Sunday, it kicks off at 5 o'clock for a pregame broadcast. Ron McLean and I co host the show. We always have special guests and tell stories of the communities that mm -hmm. we're in. And that's, I think, what sets us apart from, from other hockey shows is that we really do concentrate. On local stories, and you know, there's nothing, there's no story too small because we want to get into the, the sort of nooks and crannies, for lack of a better term, of communities. So, you know, people from Cochrane, I think, our, our desire is to to make them proud, to to think that we represented them properly at the end nice. of the day. Nice. What what nook did you get into in Cochrane? Well, I'm still exploring nooks, but well, yesterday I was at the Yamnuska uh, Wolf Dog Sanctuary, Fun. so we'll show some of that. Today I'm actually going to a place called the Wine Glass Ranch, and I'll mm. saddle up on a horse, Melissa Hollingsworth, oh, cool. the nice. uh, Olympian, will join me for that. So getting a sense of sort of the Western flavor of Cochrane, um, but focusing on hockey, that's always what we do. So the Kimmet Cup is a three-on-three -three shinny tournament that's been happening for nine years. It's very popular. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, on Mitford Ponds, just gorgeous. Uh, and in the memory of Lindsay Kimmett, who was a, a bright light who was gone too soon. And then, of course, there's hockey players who've made it from there. And, you know, being that it's not a massive place, there, you know, there aren't a ton, but Mason Raymond is from Cochrane. Nice. Justin Dowling is a guy who plays for the Texas Stars, and he got to play in the big show at the beginning of the season with Dallas. And then the junior B team, the generals, you know, we, we, we go deep. And I just was told yesterday, actually, Ron sent me a note. The general manager of the Cochrane Generals is a woman. Really? Yeah. So I am so, awesome. so thrilled to, uh, to get a chance to chat with her. We also have members of the Calgary Inferno okay. uh, who are coming on the show. Paul Brandt is going to perform. So, you Very know, cool. it's going to be pretty thorough. Nice. <laughs> okay, so that, that's what's happening in Cochrane. Um, uh, you always get up to hijinks wherever you go, in whatever part of the country you're in. Yeah. Um, and we dug up a few. The first one was in Vernon, I think, with your friend Greg Zahn from the yeah. Blue Jays broadcast. Yeah, it's funny because Greg Zahn is a kid from Glendale, California, yeah. right? I mean, he's like, he's, he's a, a Southern Californian guy, but he's married to a woman from Kelowna. So he has really embraced the kind of Canadian winter sport nice. thing. He, he also... He uh, gets up on skates, too, and, and likes to play goal. So there I am, a uh, born and raised Canadian on the bunny hill, and then that's Greg Zahn, just uh, <laughs> going Mogul. down. He's fearless. Just giving her. Yeah. Oh! So, yeah, well, that's, that's me. It so, Everyone does it. Yeah. We, we call this segment My Hometown Must, so it's kind of the thing you must do when you're in the community. And unfortunately... Did he just snow you? Yeah, I just snow me. <laughs> Most of these things end up being the thing that I can't do. Yeah. So it's a chance for me to discover all sorts of things I'm not very good at. But it's really fun. I mean, it's a very privileged way to see the country. Uh, really quickly, I've heard about these tunnels, and you got to see them. Tunnels, Moose Jaw has are, a... Are these the smuggling tunnels? Yeah, they, oh, there's a yeah. series of tunnels, city, city blocks. Um, and, I mean, part of the story is that they were used during the Prohibition era, and Al Capone himself would come, and this is where they would store the large amounts of alcohol. And the reason that they, it, this happened in Moose Jaw is because there was a direct line from Moose Jaw to Chicago. To Chicago, So yeah. that's just part of the story there, but really interesting history. Moose Jaw's actually a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it's, I, I have a good time. Cool, and you'll be with us all weekend and uh, heading into the big event on Sunday, which takes place at 5.